In today's video, we're going to go grocery shopping together. I'm going to show you exactly what you need at the grocery store so that you can kickstart your keto journey. We're in the veggie section, the produce section, which is my favorite place. If you can find a supermarket that has lots of options in the produce section, then you'll never get bored with putting together meals because the majority of your meals are going to be protein based and then you're going to add in veggies to complement that and top it with a yummy source of fat. It's the protein and the fat in your meals that's going to keep you feeling full and satisfied. Some of the things that I avoid are fruit. As you've been following a keto lifestyle for longer, you can incorporate small amounts of fruit back in and make it work for you, but it's something that I tend to avoid. Everything from this section basically I include in my diet. Non-starchy veggies are your best friend on a keto or low carb diet. To make your life easier, I've included some of my favorite veggies in the description box below as a starting point. Non-starchy veggies are low in calories and carbs, but high in so many nutrients, including vitamin C and minerals. Veggies also contain fiber, which your body doesn't digest and absorb like other carbs. This is why most vegetables contain very few meat carbs. If you're sticking to non-starchy veggies, you have nothing to worry about. They are absolutely low carb and keto friendly. When it comes to starchy vegetables like potatoes, this is something that you avoid on a keto diet because you're looking for lower carb alternatives. If you are missing potato, then there are lots of options that you can try, like cauliflower, suede, even radish makes a really good potato substitute. The supermarket deli can contain lots of really good keto friendly options. Anti-pesto items like olives, sliced meats, cheeses are great. There might even be some prepared salads that are also low carb and low sugar. You want to avoid any prepared pastry style items because these are generally made with refined carbohydrates, unless there are pre-made keto options there. And you can always grab a hot rotisserie chicken for an easy meal idea. Most fish and shellfish are really keto friendly. Fatty fishes such as salmon, sardines, and mackerel are excellent choices. And so are white fishes like cod, halibut, trout, terrakee. When choosing fish and seafood, choose options that have no or low added sugars and stay away from breading to keep your carbs low. Meat is perfect for keto. You can have beef, pork, lamb, wild game and poultry of all kinds. You can also have meats like sausages, but just be careful when you're choosing those items that they have no added sugar, starches or breading so that the carbs stay low. The same rule applies to meats that have been pre-marinated as they might have used sugar. Remember, you can always make your own marinades at home. When it comes to shopping in the supermarket, I always stick to the parameter as best I can. Once you start encroaching into the supermarket itself, some of the choices can get a little bit harder to make. There are still options there and I'll show you how I go about it, but this is where you want to focus on getting the most of your shopping done, along the edges of the supermarket. Produce, the butchery, the seafood section, and also in the dairy section as well. That's where you're eating the bulk of the things that you eat the most of. Even though this is technically on the perimeter of the grocery store, the bakery is a section that you would avoid. We're now in the wine and beer section. In New Zealand, you can't buy spirits in the supermarket. But spirits themselves are all pretty much keto and low carb friendly because they're zero grams of net carbs, but that doesn't mean that they're calorie free. And if weight loss is a goal of yours, it is really important to bear in mind your alcohol content. If you're having spirits, you wanna pair those with low carb mixes, like sugar-free mixes, soda water, seltzer, diet tonic, that kind of thing. But when it comes to wine and beer, you can absolutely make those fit into your keto lifestyle. When it comes to picking wines, you wanna go for a dry variety, whether that's red, white, or sparkling. All of these really sugary drinks are ones that you wanna avoid. You're wanting to limit your sugar intake. The same principle applies to beer as it does for any other product. You wanna just look for the low carb, low sugar options. And most of them are pretty clear on the pack, and there are more and more options that are coming to the market every single year. Not every supermarket is going to have a dedicated keto range like this New World does, which is one of the reasons why I love this supermarket. They have hand-picked out items. Pork crackle, which is a really good substitute for chips if you're missing potato chips breads and pizza bases. 
Meat alternatives like tofu and other vegetarian meats can absolutely be keto and low carb friendly. You just want to check the nutritional information and stay clear of any products with added sugars. Another place that you can find really good keto friendly meat alternatives are in the frozen section. The ones that you want to avoid are the obvious ones with like breading, but otherwise so many of them are super low carb. Fresh pastas and even prepared fresh soups are things that I stay clear of because the carb content is too high. Small goods like salami and sliced meats make really good snacks and these are things that you can grab and go if you're hungry and you just want a snack while you're out. When it comes to milk, stay clear of the flavoured milks and also avoid the non-fat milks. You want to go for the highest fat content option, which is normally gold top or silver top in New Zealand or half and half if you're in the States. My personal favorite is to use cream in my coffees instead of any milk. You only need a small amount, but if you are really struggling with the adjustment, then a small splash of milk won't hurt. Eggs are great and so versatile, definitely one to add to your grocery list. Ghee and butter are great options, or if you're dairy-free, you can choose a dairy-free spread instead. I love cheese and I eat all kinds of cheese, whether that's soft cheese, hard cheese, I eat it all. The one cheese that I do avoid is a lower fat cheese. I just go full fat with everything. That also includes things like sour cream and cream cheese too. When it comes to yogurt, unsweetened is best. Coconut yogurt is a great option if you're dairy-free. My favorite yogurt is actually a low-fat yogurt but it's also by far the lowest in carbs. This is why it's so important to check nutritional information and steer clear of the flavored sweetened yogurts unless you know they're keto friendly. Frozen veggies are a great alternative, especially when the price of fresh ones get higher in the winter time. We love frozen cauliflower and broccoli, greens are great, and also things like cauliflower rice. Frozen berries are a great way to add in a little bit of sweetness, especially if you're missing fruit, and a lot of them are very low carb and keto friendly. I like to use frozen berries just because it's a lot more affordable than using fresh, especially in the winter time in New Zealand. One section within the actual supermarket that I spend a lot of time in is the health and lifestyle or gluten free aisle because normally this is where I find a lot of my keto friendly products that normally lumped there as this supermarket has its own dedicated keto section though I don't have to come to this section quite as much there's still lots of things here that I would pick as part of my shop Ready-made convenience foods are so helpful to have on hand, especially when you're starting out. It includes things like sugar-free chocolate and also low-calorie keto-friendly noodles, which are really handy if you're wanting to mimic regular noodles in certain dishes. When it comes to choosing a milk-free alternative, you're wanting to choose the lowest carb option, which means unfortunately things like oat milk and soy milk don't really fit into a keto lifestyle because the carb content is too high. But things like almond milk, coconut milk, and unsweetened cashew milk are perfect. So look for these instead. I avoid things like noodles, rice, pastas, and instead I make my own keto alternatives, whether that's using vegetables or a low carb keto friendly product that already exists that I can just add in instead. Another really easy way to add a lot of flavor to your dishes, but keeping things low carb and keto friendly is by adding in spices, herbs, and seasonings. Dry ones are a really good budget friendly way to do that, so just make sure that your spices are up to date. If you've had them for a while, check the best before date and replace any that you need to over time. Oil is your friend, but you want to make sure that you're picking oils that are also good for your body. So avoiding things like canola oil, sunflower oil, and instead picking avocado oil, coconut oil, and olive oil. In an ideal world, we'd make all of our own products, but we really don't have time for that, which is why pre-made sauces are a really good way just to jazz up your meal, whether that's salads or your burgers, whatever. Adding in a yummy sauce can sometimes just take your meal to the next level. And there are lots of keto-friendly, low-carb sources out there that you can pick. Just check the nutritional information because sometimes there can be hidden sugars. Keto doesn't just have to be eggs and bacon for breakfast. You can easily have a cereal or a granola. You can make your own or you can just grab an option from the supermarket. Just be mindful when you are selecting a cereal to look for one that is low carb and this might be labeled as keto. You can definitely make your own keto friendly breads and I have lots of those recipes available on my recipe app, Well Club. I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. But grabbing a loaf that's already made from your supermarket is so handy. And now there are so many brands available. Thank you.
When it comes to spreads, there are lots of options. Just keep an eye out for a low sugar or sugar-free jam or jelly. And nut butters without any sugar added are also a great option because they're high in fat and that fat will keep you feeling full and satisfied. When it comes to coffee and tea, avoiding the high sugar pre-made coffees is a good idea. Instead, just opt for regular espresso, whether that's granules or the espresso caps, and this can be decaf too. Sugar-free hot chocolate is also a great option. Black tea, green tea, any unsweetened tea, including herbal teas, are also great to have on hand. Crackers and cheese makes a really good snack, but again, you want to hunt out options that are keto friendly. Sometimes they can be labeled really clearly like this, and other times you have to dig around a little bit to find them. But the ones that you want to avoid contain those refined carbs that you're trying to avoid, like the flours and the sugars, which also unfortunately means that all of these cookies and biscuits behind me are also not keto friendly. But that's okay, because things like that you can make yourself very easily at home. There are so many ways that you can now bake your own favorite keto treats at home. And instead of using things like you might be used to, like white flowers, instead you're going to use almond flowers, coconut flowers. The end result is just the same. Instead of sugar, we use sweeteners that are keto friendly, like erythritol and stevia. I have more information about keto friendly baking in its own YouTube video. So I will leave a link to that video in the cards above if you want to check that one out. Canned fish can be a really inexpensive way to up your protein. When looking for an option, make sure that you're in the habit of checking the nutritional information because there can be so many hidden sugars. If you are wanting to stay clear of added sugars, then just pick a plain tinned salmon or tuna. We all know that sugary sodas probably aren't the best for us, but they can fit into a keto lifestyle if you choose a diet soda option. It's completely personal how much you have of those, whatever it is that makes you feel good and fits into your lifestyle, but just look for the lower sugar alternatives so stay clear of any of these fruit juices that are unfortunately full of sugar with your nuts and seeds there are lots of options that are keto friendly the ones that you want to tend to limit are cashews pistachios and also you're wanting to limit the use of dried fruit because that can be really sugary. It's okay to add in a little bit. Sometimes I use some dried raisins, just chopped up really finely just to get a little bit of that flavor in. Things like potato chips are also off limits if you're following a keto diet. Instead, substitute that with pork crackle, which you can snack on like you would potato chips. In the confectionery or the candy aisle, it's best to stay clear of any of the pre-made candies. This includes the sugar-free ones because they use sugar alcohols that can be really disruptive to the digestive system. Pretty much the only thing that I go for in this aisle is a dark chocolate. For so many years, I would come into the ice cream section at the supermarket and look and hope and wish that there was a keto-friendly range that I could get. And there finally is now in New Zealand. I know there is in Australia and America too. So this is slowly becoming more and more easier to access keto-friendly products that are already made at the supermarket. So if you don't have that yet, just keep an eye out, keep checking, ask at your supermarket and see if there's any ways in which they could bring in a range that you know about. I'm home from the grocery store now. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it was helpful. If you would like to try keto, then check out the link in the description box below where you can find a link to my free seven day meal plan. It's an ebook containing all of the recipes you need, plus the shopping list to get going on your journey. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up because the support means the world to me. And if you're new here, make sure you hit subscribe because I upload new videos every single week sharing my journey following an active, healthy lifestyle. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.